Okay, today we're going to do an experiment in a baggie. We're going to use uh, just disposable food gloves as our reaction container. And the other ingredients we need are uh, baking soda and vinegar. And then also rock salt. You could buy this as uh, ice cream salt. It's calcium chloride. This is sodium bicarbonate. This is acetic acid. And this is calcium chloride. But all these things we could buy at uh, the grocery store. And we're also going to use um, purple cabbage. And what I've done is I've taken the cabbage, chopped it up, and frozen it. And that breaks open up all the cells and lets the purple dye come out. And then if you just put that in a baggie with some water and smoosh it up, we can make this cool purple cabbage juice. And the purple uh, cabbage juice is going to act as a natural indicator. It's an acid-base indicator. And the color changes uh, of the, the compound in here that looks purple right now, that color changes depending on the pH of the solution. So if it's acidic or if it's basic, it's going to look different. So we're going to use this to see uh, some, to, to observe our reaction today too. So what we're going to do is uh, we already have our baggies. We took just a little scoop of rock salt. So I'll make one more. Okay, we just take a little scoop of rock salt and put it in one finger of the baggie, one finger of the glove, and take a little scoop of baking soda. Just a little, oops, a little scoop of baking soda and put that in one of the fingers. Okay, and then I'm gonna pour out a little vinegar. Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll do the, uh, the cabbage juice first. I'm gonna pour out a little cabbage juice. And so the baggie works for this pretty well. And I could just pour out a little. And I'll put that right, hold it, hold it open. It's a real good idea to wear safety goggles with this so that you, uh, so, it won't explode. so in It'll case you get any splashes or anything, we don't, uh, we won't get anything splash in our eyes. So it's real good to, uh, we need to protect our eyes here. And we'll just pour that in one of the fingers of the glove. Okay, so you can see that the cabbage juice looks kind of purple, right? Is it cabbage juice? Can you see that color? Yeah. It looks kind of looks kind of purple, and that's what it looks like when it's neutral. Now let's see what happens when we add some acid to it. Vinegar is acetic acid, and so this has a very low pH. Let's see what happens to that cabbage juice when we change the pH. So let's pour it in the same finger as the cabbage juice. Whoa! So it turns really pink, doesn't it? So that's the protonated form of this molecule. It has a different structure. Most it interacts differently with the light. It's most likely violet. And so we get a nice purple color there too. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to tie the top of the glove together to seal this. And squish it. And then we're going to mix all, everything together. So I'm going to tie it in the top. What's nice about this is now we have a sealed container. We get to throw the whole thing away when we're done. And then... Oh, sick. <laughs> and then Andy is already figuring out what we're going to do next, is we're going to mix our ingredients. We're going to mix, try and hold it upright. I don't know if yours is tied too tightly up there. So why don't you pour the liquid into the <laughs> different powders. It looks like Mickey Mouse's And watch hair. what happens. It looks like Mickey Mouse's gloves. <laughs> it might help you. Maybe you can pour the powder into the liquids or the liquids in the powder, whatever you want to do. And you can see when you, when you mix the vinegar in with the rock salt, nothing happens to the color. But when you mix it with the uh, baking soda, then a reaction takes place. And so what we're doing is we're reacting the acid in the base, and it, it generates carbon dioxide. So we see that gas being formed as bubbles. We see our gloves starting to inflate. <laughs> and look what happens to the color of the indicator. It's still it turned purple again. Now it even changed back to purple. It even will get kind of blue if you let it sit for a little while. And so we're watching that the reaction is taking place and the acid and base reaction. Now, uh, sometimes the gloves leak a little bit, so this is a good activity to do outdoors or with a lot of paper towels down. Um, oh, I know. So we might get some vinegar or cabbage juice on our clothes. A little warning, too, about the cabbage juice is this gets a little stinky. So it's good to keep it sealed up in a bag and uh, dispose of it when you're done. But you can get, look at that nice, nice bright color you get uh, when, you, when you mix it around here. So real easy to make. And a lot of fun you can have with uh, with some household I materials. This, I thought that this was mostly Okay, and yeah, if you mix in too much stuff, 
it can actually explode. So we want to oh, just a little chemistry? little scoop of each would be great. Can okay, thanks. Watch Happy chemistry. Watch Bye. the next